Hello, my name's Phil Buckley and I'm a senior lecturer in ecology at Canterbury Christchurch University. The, the days are, they're, they're quite hugely varied. Uh, the, the main parts of my role are to look after students, uh, to carry out lectures and um, also to carry out research. So I'll find myself, um, a, a typical day might involve talking to two or three students about various aspects of their studies. I will also be preparing teaching materials and delivering teaching. I might also be uh, making videos or, uh, or carrying out some of the research that I do. So it could, you know, and, and each day can be slightly different. Um, I'd, I could be, uh, today for example, I was talking to various different contacts that I have. Uh, I was preparing a paper for publication with some, uh, with some Chinese colleagues that I have. And uh, I've also been talking to a guy who was a dissertation student of mine in Hawaii. Oh, sorry, he's a dissertation student of mine before. He's now um, working in Hawaii and we're planning to publish a paper together. Well, I think it's possibly quite sad. My first books that I, that I owned and loved and got my parents to buy me were nature encyclopedias. So various sort of, you know, these, the, these books that you turn to page 50 and there's a massive picture of a colourful spider on it and stuff like that. I used to love that kind of thing. And I'd love going out and, um, and, and looking at nature. And um, so I, I, I will admit that I not really had a career path. It's been more of a career stumble. I, um, I, I, I went to university after I'd finished my A-levels uh, because I didn't think of, there, there wasn't anything else I particularly wanted to do. The university was more of a default option. And I bumbled my way through university. And then in my final year, I was taken on a field course to Northern Ireland um, by a, a, a really inspirational lecturer and, um, and, and shown uh, intertidal ecology and marine ecology. And at that point, I thought, you know, this looks really good. I'd love to do this. And from then on, I, I, I became, I didn't end up getting into marine ecology. I ended up studying um, freshwater invasive species. But it was, um, it was just that beginning, that, that, that feeling of, wow, you know, the excitement when you're on a beach and you're looking at the different species and how they, um, how they might have interrelationships and how, how can you interrogate what's happening in slightly more detail. Uh, that, that really fascinated me. I uh, travelled on Erasmus in my second year and at the end of um, my degree I was given the opportunity to do some uh, postgraduate uh, qualification which was attached to this, um, it, you know, if you've been on Erasmus, you were allowed to do this qualification. And I happened to be looking at nematodes that live in sewage on Hastings Beach, uh, which, I mean, obviously there was, there was a big crowd of people wanting to do that. Um, but a, um, I, I, was, I was studying them using the labs at Christchurch. And whilst at the labs at Christchurch, a job came up. Uh, as a research technician that came with a PhD attached to it. So you take on the job and, and sort of one day a week you're allowed to do a PhD. And um, so I ended up, I just happened to be in the lab doing some work for this extra qualification whilst the, um, uh, whilst the, the, the you know, when, when this, um, this research project came about and, um, and they said, well, we, we need someone keen who would really like to, 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 to carry out some work and I was sat right there looking down a microscope at nematodes and sewage. So um, that, that worked out really well and um, I then spent six years studying for my PhD uh, part-time whilst working as a research technician 
Um, you asked about the passion for teaching. I started working as a research technician in 2000. In 2004, my boss came to me and said, I've got this, um, I've got this lecture series, a third year lecture series called Ionizing Radiations, and the biological effect of ionizing radiation. And I'd like someone to teach it. Would you be up for teaching it? And um, one thing I did, which I'm, I, I would always recommend to people and which I'm really happy that I did, was to say yes. And I found myself teaching this course. I'd been on it as an undergraduate, but I wasn't an expert. I became an expert through teaching it. And, um, and, and it was, I absolutely loved it. I then went on to, um, I was offered a, um, a, a, a post um, at a university or a, a, a college that did degrees called Hadlow College. Um, and I, I carried, worked as a sessional lecturer at Hadlow College for a period of time. After working there as a sessional lecturer, I then came back to Christchurch um, after about a year and, um, and, and got a lectureship. So that then led me to here and, and I've been here ever since. That was, I think, 2009. I, I really enjoy lecturing, so I, I, I've not really got any plans to do anything else at the moment. Uh, the, the, the choice from senior lecturer becomes quite exciting because there are two strands. On the one hand, you could get more into the learning and teaching side, and then you go for a promotion to um, uh, what's called principal lecturer. Now, one thing that I've, I've not said is that all lecturers in the UK nowadays uh, need to have a teaching qualification. So uh, we, we've all been through this, um, uh, this, this process. Um, it, it's got various names. When I did it, it was called the PGCLT, um, brackets HE, Postgraduate Certificate in Learning and Teaching. Um, and you become a fellow of the Higher Education Academy. Now, to get to principal lecturer, you need to do another teaching qualification that shows that you're leading in the, sub, in the area of teaching. So, for example, instead of, um, you, you can mentor other members of staff, you can uh, lead initiatives. So, for example, Joe Berman has, has set up and led the Summertime Science uh, series of YouTube videos um, and, and that was that was a, a thing that he's done and it's a, you know it's a really good example of, of, of leading an area other people have led other areas so there's that side you can go into there's also um, an alternative route which is to become a reader and if you become a reader that is more research orientated so for that you need to publish lots of papers you need to pull in research money into the university and um, and, and at the moment, I'm leaning more towards the learning and teaching side. So I'm, I'm, um, I'm partway through this next level of qualification, which is the Senior Fellow of Higher Education. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm working on publications as well, because you, you need those as well as the learning and teaching. Um, and and I'm, I'm probably more down the route of, of learning and teaching than I am going towards reader. So yeah, that's, that's, that's hopefully going to be the future.